Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about lasso select or rectangle select, which is a new feature released by Microsoft in the month of August. So basically this feature will enable you to select data points from a line chart, area chart and scatter chart by clicking and dragging over it. So now let's quickly go to Power BI and I'll show you how to enable this feature and later let's see how we can use this particular feature. So I have this PBX file here and I'm gonna use the same data which I used in my previous example. So I have the fact table uh, with some columns like business type, country, country code, uh, geo hierarchy like region level one, level two, level zero, and two measure like total revenue and total units. So I have this uh, simple chart here. So I'm gonna use this uh, chart as an example. And this is an area chart. And I have a table with uh, region level two has a dimension here in the rows and values total revenue. So first let's try to understand how to enable this feature, right? Lasso feature. So if you notice here, now if I hold control and then do a select, it doesn't do anything, right? So first I need to enable this lasso feature. So to do that, I need to go to the files here and option sign settings under options you have uh, something called global. So just give it a second. So we have global here. Under global, preview features. So in the last row, you have data point rectangle select. So you need to check this box here and then click OK. So it says feature requests a restart. Let's restart the PBI file. Just give it a second. So let me restart it. So I restarted my PBF file. So now if you use your control and then drag this area, let's say this area, you notice it's the uh, Americas being selected, right? AMS. So and if you notice region level two here below this table, so all the records pertaining to this region is highlighted here. So now again, if I, let's say I want to select Americas and EMEA, if I still use control, you see Americas gets deselected, right? And EMEA gets selected. So if you want to add something to your existing selection, which you already made, use shift, okay? So you see we already selected EMEA. And if you want to include Americas, don't use control, right? You can use shift and then drag fully. So you see the EMEA that was selected earlier is still valid. Okay, so this is how we use the shift and control. So I'll repeat once again. So if you want to add something to your already uh, existing selection, I would prefer shift. And if you want to change your, uh, if you want to do a toggle between select and deselect, I prefer uh, control. So I'll hold control and I'll let me select it once again, you see. It disappeared. So now if I hold shift and then do a select again, Americas is added here. So I made some points here. So holding control plus click drag and holding shift plus click drag. So you can try to experiment over these features. And there are some points to remember. So number of data points to be selected once will be limited to 300 data points. So in this example, I just use two data points. So at the max, you can use 300 data points for a single select. And make sure you have enabled preview features in the desktop and republish it. So if you are publishing into a service, make sure uh, you enable this feature and save your file and then republish it, okay? That's the second thing. And the third thing is this feature is available for line chart, area chart, and scatter chart. So this feature is currently enabled only for these three kinds of charts. Maybe in the future, they might uh, come up with some updates for other charts as well. And one important thing is do not forget to download the latest file from Microsoft website because uh, this was released in the month of August. So you need to have the latest version running on your PC, okay? And uh, that's all about Lasso feature. And if you have any questions, please drop me a note in the comment section. And I hope this video was helpful, okay? And thanks for watching. Have a great day.